So guys, I've been using this bird dog NDI encoder to take in HDMI input from my booting machine so that I can show you the boot and make my grub videos and all that sort of stuff. But there's been a problem using this. With this bird dog, it encodes it and then feeds it over the, the network. And I found that that introduced some latency, some delay. And furthermore, when I'm doing screen captures of my screen, it becomes like sort of JPEG encoded artifacty, which I just hated. So for the longest time, as an alternative while making my videos, I've just been using FFmpeg on my um, on my Archnex machine to record the um, the screen, right? But this has some problems in itself. Like I, I've long been tweaking this FFmpeg line. It sometimes fails for some reason, some KMS grab. Sometimes I've had issues with, um, what is it called, uh, PyCom. Um, and, and other times it just somehow overloaded the machine just to do a screen capture. And then once that screen capture is done, then I need to transfer it over to the editing machine, this uh, MacBook Pro running Final Cut Pro 10. So I've been desperate to improve this workflow and, I've, and over Christmas, I've got myself a stream deck so I can start recording and change the scenes. And I've got also a BU113 AVA media capture card. Um, so now the HDMI is feeding through into there and being captured by OBS. And Nothing's running on this, just, it's just outputting. That's the setup. I, I like to see myself on the big screen because I'm vain or something. No, uh, for framing. <laughs> um, so I've got the, the HDMI going into the screen, but I can just flick between this and uh, USB-C. And then you can, you can sh hopefully see my OBS record happening. Yeah, there's the OBS happening. And yeah, my microphone is also being captured by the the, um, the OBS. So I think that concludes my video. I uh, now once I'm done making the video, I just hit hit stop here to stop recording this Archnex machine. I need to whip the video out from the machine from this from this uh, camera, and then edit it on this thing and then create the thumbnail of course and upload it to YouTube and I'll be done. I think I'm going to get another Ava Media card so to save me having to retrieve the um the video from the uh the GH5 but I don't think I don't think OBS is going to be able to do two video captures very easily. And I, I've, when in my test, it seems to struggle to record 4K sometimes. The quality that comes off this, off this, uh, off this camera is a lot better. So there's my workflow enhancement. Instead of recording on this machine, I'm using my work MacBook Pro and OBS to hopefully skip a step and make things more complicated. In the meantime, no, this will be better. Why? Because I think I'm just doing this really complicated setup just so that I don't have to yeah, worry about that and I don't have to worry about copying things across anymore. Is it worth it? Only time will tell. Any comments, any suggestions down below? Like the video. See you guys. Bye.